Morning everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. It was 24 this morning, a couple hours ago, and uh, outside, so it was really cold. The blue thing isn't working at all, and it was 45 in a greenhouse this morning. Oddly, the temperature outside is increasing and the temperature in a greenhouse is dropping. I don't know why that is, but anyway, um, the greenhouse is still holding residual heat at night. So, um, I'm not sure. It looks like we're ten trending towards sunny again. Barometer is rising, so we've got better weather coming. But we're going into a deep freeze for the next 10 days, they're claiming. That it's going to be really cold and not above freezing. So, let's see what comes. Um, looks like it's right now bad for solar. Um, it, the sun is trying to break through a little bit here and there, but it's really hazy. So, uh, we'll see if today turns out to be a good solar charging day on the tiny house on Wales. We just went into equalize mode and I heard beeping on the uh, inverter so I manually took it out of equalize but already at what is it 10 30 or 11 we're in absorption mode very very good already very good but we have been extremely sparing on the battery power recently so that has a lot to do with it Anyway, um, the Renogy is not bringing in anything. I do have to figure out how to adapt that and change some internal settings so that it will sync with the TriStar and give us the power we need. But absorption mode in the morning, that's good. I took it out of Equalize intentionally because we just had Equalize long ago, or not long ago and because I can't use anything, uh, anything that, on power in the tiny house on wheels when we're in equalized mode. It's always better to plan it anyway around our activities. Hi everybody. Today I'm going to tap maple trees. It is January 29th, 2017 and the sap may be flowing. Sorry, you probably can't see me. I'm sitting here looking for my drill bit that's supposed to be inside this package that I keep with all my taps. Um, I've got all my taps here and I'm not sure if I have the right drill bit here. Alright, oddly the drill bit that I had Alright, I'll be back in a minute guys with a drill bit. We're going to try tapping some maple trees today because the temperature has been above um, freezing by day and below freezing at night which is optimal conditions and it is going to be February soon so it's about that time. Alright guys, I'm going to start with a smaller bit first. And there's last year's hole. Okay. Now this is a relatively small tree but it gets a lot of sunlight so it's a good time to check. Um, I'm going to check my tube length as well. It's a good time to check for the sap flow. Uh, we have sap. We do have flow. Very heavy flow. Heavy flow. Look at this guys. Look at that. It's gushing out. It's streaming out. Can you see it? Wow, that's heavy, heavy flow. All right, I'm going to get that tap in there quick. All right, guys, I, uh, I'm going to tap that in. It is the right size I grab. Just, you don't want to hurt the tree. You just want to get that tight. And then I've got to drill a hole through the jug. This is flowing heavy, guys. Heavy flow. Exciting. So I'm so excited, I'm running in circles. I've got to get this uh, fit for the jug here. So I'm going to drill a hole on the top of the milk jug, or the water jug, and we'll be uh, setting that up here in a minute. Sorry, you're still zoomed, aren't you? So, I'm put that in here tightly. Set that down on here where it goes. Right now, um, 
you don't want the, tap, uh, the cap on too tight. You want pressure release, or you're going to get an overpressure situa situation in here, and then the sap won't be able to flow. So there we go. We're going to start filling that jug up. I'm going to tap some more trees today and start catching some uh, maple sap. Here's one of my biggest trees. I could put three taps into this guy here because he's huge. I'm going to put one here and one here so I can reach into the bucket. I've pre-drilled the bucket already. And then I don't need to go that low. I want to go, yeah, roughly here and here. And this should flow pretty well then. good flow. We have a very, very good flow. Wow. Make sure it's not leaking. There we go. Now it's flowing into the bucket. Um, the old hole was here, so I want to go off away from that a bit. You want to go about an inch and a half, two inches in. And I've got flow. Oh yeah, I've got flow. I use a dollar store rubber mallet. And then I just make sure I tap it until it's not dripping down the side of the tree. And if I come out later and I see moisture down the side of the tree, I'm going to tap it again. But I don't want to over tighten it because we don't want to hurt the tree. You don't want to split the wood and put a split in the tree. Now this is going drip, 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 drip. So a pretty nice pace. Well, I've got some work to do then, guys. Got a lot of work to do. Early maple syrup tapping, maple tree tapping, early. Did not, uh, I never tried this early. I have a double tap here, dripping fast. Drip, 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 drip. And over here, I'm putting in two. I've got one in. So, I'm putting in a, a second one here right now. I'm going to have to adjust the height of this one a little. Later, this is supposed to go into buckets. So. Yeah, I might have to shorten that or something. Alright, we've got juice. Oh, good flow. Very good flow. Wow. Very good. Let me see. Yeah, it's running down nicely. Should start to drip any minute now. Drip, 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 really fast. Wow, really fast. That's a big tree though. That's a very, very big tree. Now that tree can handle three taps. I guess here's a, a big tree. Uh, this guy can take two taps right here. And this one will take a single. I think, actually I'm going to move on because I'm going to be able to put a triple bucket tap in there. I'm going to actually, I've got two, I've got two buckets, sorry about the motion, my camera tripod is heavy. I've got two buckets here with single taps on them. And I think I'm going to go to trees, there's four trees right here. And then swinging around behind me there's another tree, two more trees. I'll put the two singles right here. There's one and there's one. 
So we'll put the two singles on these two boys right here. Right here, this is a new tree. Now these two trees have a lot of rot on the inside, but I've noticed that's very common with the maples. There's a, a very badly hollowed out rotten area here. So I'm gonna see, um, it's otherwise healthy on top. I'm gonna see what it can give me, what it can do for me. Prop that up in there, put this right here. And we have juice. We have a good, good flow. Healthy tree besides that rod right there. Oh, it's, it's, it's rushing in there. Really good flow. So right over here, we'll turn the camera. Now I've got another one. As you can tell, I think you can tell, I'm quite excited. Uh, I'm in a hurry. It's already getting later in the day by the time I thought about doing this. Now the sun shines on the south side and that's where I'm tapping on the south side because we want a sunny side of the tree. All right, tap until you get a little bit of juice. One and a half to two inches. It's a slow, oh, there it comes. It's a good drip, good flow. Okay. Now, that one's going drip, drip, drip. This one just started running down. It's a little bit slower. Might, might want to tap that one a little deeper. It's a slower, it's a slower run. But uh, this is exciting. January, tapping in January. Now it's gonna get colder again this week. I'm not sure how cold. Look here, I've got two more trees right here. Uh, there's, there's just trees everywhere to tap. We are going to be busy with maple uh, sap processing this year. This is going to be hot and heavy. This is no joke this year. So I've got to get more tubing, more. I've got a container full of buckets. I'm going to pre-drill all the caps and get a whole uh, bag full of uh, uh, five gallon or one gallon um, water containers. And I'll go through and I'll, I'll tap all the little trees with them. And I've got a whole mess of tubing and taps. So I'll go and uh, pre-prepare everything and try to knock these out. Hi guys, a couple packages in the mail today. Start with the little guy. I think that I know what this is. Well, there's a label on it, but they always Say something, ooh, indirect on it. It's squashed, I hope it's okay. This is a meter for my project I'm currently working on. I'm pretty sure, but the box is demolished. China packet, hope the meter's okay. I've waited for a week or a week and a half on this to arrive. Well, there's enough bow wrap and tape. Let's see if the meter's okay. It still reads zero. Got a voltmeter. Where's my camera display? The sun's in my eyes too, so I can't even see what I'm looking at. All right, there's a voltmeter. I ordered that. It did arrive okay. All right. And that way I can check the charging battery voltage and the run battery voltage on my the machines I'm working on. And here's another product, uh, package that I ordered. This is from DigiKey, which is a major electronics parts provider I've been dealing with since I was in school. There's a box. Okay, here is a package.
which is going to be valuable for my experimentation. Missing some tape? No. Okay. Here are some of the Maxwell D cell packs for the uh, machine I'm working on. I can't see the sun's in my eyes. So there's a D cell. This is a 2.7 volt 350 farad capacitor. I don't know, sorry, the sun is really bad right now. Can you see that? So, anyway, I'll be dealing with these guys here in a while. Hopefully they're shipped empty. I have to make sure I don't touch the ends because those are powerful capacitors. Really powerful. Boy, the sun is really blinding. So, it was not the sun. My camera was um, outdoors for a while, so it was all messing up on me. So that's three... 150 farad at 2.7 volts and these are the super caps that I'll be experimenting with with the Quanta Q3 charge accelerator in the coming days weeks and months but I have a surprise on the way that's even bigger and better but that will be shown soon there goes my camera again it's fogging over because it's cold Felix do you like the box Felix hey do you like the box, Felix? Huh? Do you like the box? Evan is just bigger than the box. <laughs> Felix is in the box. <laughs> You're bigger than the box. <laughs> Felix! Are you not the shame? <laughs> Hi guys. I My camera was dead. Otherwise, well, I couldn't have showed you what I was doing anyway. There was no room. I got this at Tractor Supply on discount about a month or two ago for only $4. It was a 20 some odd dollar thing. Now I have a... Uh, piston for the screen door because the wind was whipping it out of our hands this screen door is like a massive sail now and then I reattached the spring up on top to help as well to actually the spring gives us more of a dead stop to prevent the piston arm from getting broken when the wind whips it to its maximum extension so we've got now um, a self closer and wind resistance mm -hmm. Because, boy, we were having trouble, and the door was being ripped apart. I had to do some, uh, put some extra screws in there to resecure the door to its frame. The actual metal door to its metal door frame, because the wind kept ripping it out of our hands. The wind is violent out here, and with the plastic in the windows, it's a sail. It just grabs it out of your hand. Um, outside, I am looking for my tubing. I'm sure I had 500 feet of tubing. I knew I ordered it and I knew it didn't arrive on time and I can't remember now if it ever came or not now that I'm thinking I can't remember so um, by the way for anybody who asks there's Chris's generator in the front Chris is out today um, I'm not even sure what he's doing we've passed here and there because I've been running through the woods tapping trees until I ran out of taps uh, speaking of which, let me show you how much sap we've got in just a couple hours. What do we got going on? Yellow is good. We've got, oops, 3 watts. 13.13 volts on the battery bank. 12.9 according to the TriStar. But I trust the big boy uh, because he's got thicker cables. Freezer is at 20, so we'll have to run that again soon. But we're looking good out here. Hi guys, the first tree I tapped um, gave us a little bit of juice today. That's the first tree I tapped. Let's go check some of the others. This one is looking good. This was my second tree, guys. And uh, that's pretty decent. We're actually going to gather up what we, got, what we got today and take it in. And it's still dripping. It's still flowing, Chris. Nice. Yeah, I can see that it's, it's still dripping in there. So, um, it'll continue until it freezes. Sun up is the best when the sun is shining on the tree, but it'll, uh, it'll continue dripping until the freeze, which was pretty soon ba based on how it feels out here. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, this is good. We're deep into maple syrup season then, early season this year. Last year, you guys may remember, I missed it because I started later. So, this year I'm getting an earlier start. 
And here's a good example of what I was talking about. There was a little bit of leaking, so I'm going to have to give that another tap to tighten that in further. I should have been recording our conversation. Chris was saying if we didn't tap early this year, we probably wouldn't have got anything. And I'm agreeing. Um, this is almost half a gallon from this tree, Chris. Look at that. Yeah, from two lot. taps. That's pretty decent right now from, from today, considering we didn't tap till 3 in the afternoon. Um, you know, I was just a... Uh, I decided to tap one tree and take a chance, and there it is. Yeah. So here's the other one. And that one's dripping heavily yet. See it dripping, Chris? Yeah. There's the other one. And then I got a couple more over here, but uh, we're looking good. I'm going to continue tapping if I find the rest of the tubing. I'm going to keep tapping tomorrow heavily. So you can tell I'm excited. Yeah. All right, these are the new trees that I discovered this year. That one doesn't have much. Neither does this, but then I did tap late in the day, and these are not, these are, see, these have a lot of space between the sun and the trees. Hey, Chris, hey. follow me around. This is exciting, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Very exciting. Um, well, these two started out pretty hot and heavy, but then they slowed down, but it was late yeah. by the time I tapped them. This is my first time doing maple syrup, so... Chris is excited, right? Yeah. And um, you're going to be helping us this season. Oh, yeah. Um, you're probably going to be running the boiler hot oh. and heavy, which will be warm and cozy yeah, for you. Exactly. <laughs> I got the best job. <laughs> I'll be doing all the labor hauling the, the, the sap containers to Chris, yep. who is going to be running the boiler full time in the sugar shack. Yep. And then Melanie will be doing the finishing and the canning. Yeah. It's going to be a great, great year, I think. Yeah. Exciting. Because look at all these orange ribbons up throughout i don't know how well they show up there's a couple there yep. there's three there's two three all right right there that's just right here yep. there's one there's one then there's a couple there's all the greens i've got a lot of trees to tap guys and that's not all of them no that's just what i i found in a very short period all right there's a lot of trees out here so we're going to be doing good this year. Yeah. Really good. And it goes way, way, way back there, the ribbons. All right, well, it's getting cold out, so I'm going to start looking for that hose, that tubing. Hey, guys. I just picked up an entire gallon of maple water, fresh out of the tree. And first, I'm going to take Chris a cup. So I'm going to pour him a, a glass here, and we'll take it out and see what he thinks. That'll be his first ever maple water. And then later, Melanie and I will try it inside here as well. Chris is cutting firewood. He does not know I'm coming, so hold on. We're going to surprise him real quick. Hi, Chris. Hey, how's it going? I have something for you. This is pure maple water, straight from the tree. It's cold. It's very cold. What do you think? Tastes like water to me. There's a mild sweet taste. It's mildly sweet. You don't notice the sweetness? No. It's very lightly sweet. You don't notice it? No. Okay. You gotta, you gotta remember also, I'm used to really sweet, you know. That's right. Your tea has like so much sugar you could make caramel out of it. Yeah. Well, anyway, drink that. That's all the nutrients from the maple tree. So that is very healthy for you. So you've never had it before, have you? No. That's your first ever maple water. Yeah. Well, there's a mild sweet taste. It's very refreshing, I think. It sounds the best taste in the water I've ever had. <laughs> it's the purest water you probably yeah. ever had. Because the tree has purified it. Yeah. And refined it. So, well, that's for you, Chris. I'll fire up the generator for you again and get, let you get back to work. But right. uh, I wanted, you actually have had the first. Yeah. I had a little sip out of the, as I was gathering it, but Melanie hasn't tried it yet. You have been the first, so. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to let him get back to work, and Melanie and I are going to try that later. Yep. All right, Chris, Have thanks for the day, help. Everybody. Yeah, and thanks for the help, Chris. Yeah, no problem. Slowly, very slow. I have to do, adjust that nut. There's an adjustment on there to change the speed of the door. Now look, automatically closing door. Definitely, uh, definitely better than what we had before. Talk to the people, Melanie, while I get you some maple water. Hello, everybody. <laughs> That's it? 
Hello. <laughs> What's new? How you been? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Deer in the headlights look. All right, Melanie, there's a cup. And there's a cup. Cheers. Now I'm going to pour some maple water. Fresh from the tree, everybody. I'll give you a little shot first. Why don't you take a sip of that real quick and tell me what you think. You've never had maple water in your life, right? It's a little bit sweet. Yeah. But it just tastes water. That's what Chris said. He said it's the finest water I ever drank. He didn't taste the sweet because he has uh, so much sugar in his diet. I'm going to put that right back outside. I'm going to join my wife, Melanie. This guy's is people ask me why do you live in the northern climate? Ooh, look at her head through the glass. <laughs> why do you live up north? Why do you suffer these harsh winters? Well, you don't get this in the warm climates. Cheers, Melanie. Our first harvest of the year. First maple sap, maple water of the entire season. Just water. It's very mildly sweet. It's, it's lightly sweet. There's, I think, 3% sugar content. Very, very little. But it has all the nutrients from the tree. This is the life of the tree right here. The nutrients of the tree. This is extremely healthy for you. And this, you can only get in the Northeast. Very refreshing, very healthy. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of health stores that bottle it and sell there, this stuff. It's, it tastes like a coconut, but coconut is more sweeter. It tastes, yeah, mildly, very, very, very slightly like coconut. Yeah, because the coconut is very, very sweet. Yeah, and this is there's there's not a lot of sugar content in the maple sap straight out of the tree. Just and this is also early season. We're in, we're in January 20, not, well, I thought it was 29th. My clock is now saying 30. 30. Um, I thought today was the 29th. Somehow no, my 30. clock is off. Okay, my clock was saying 29th earlier today. Okay, so I'm confused. Today is January 30th. I've been saying 29th all day today because that said 29. Okay, anyway, it's the 30th of January. 2017 and I've never tapped this early I didn't know you could tap this early so the sugar content might increase since we've we're still in winter mm -hmm. um, but it's pretty nice to have a refreshing drink well, from have water. yeah right it's very nice to have a refreshing drink though um, mm -hmm. a nutritious drink from our own property this is actually the first fruits of the entire year for us. What do you think of that? That's good. There's, there's nothing I could taste. It's just a little sugary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good for you. Okay. I'll try. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for the day. I cannot find my tubing, so I'm probably going to have to order some more, which is frustrating because I know I ordered it, but I don't know. I remember it didn't arrive um, after I'd ordered it, and I waited, and they had sent they sh said they shipped it, and then I don't remember if it arrived and I put it away or not. No. Uh, that was a while ago, and many months have passed, So, and I got married since then, so many things have come uh, through. Actually, I got married in the middle of the maple season last year, didn't I? So, yeah, it was during the maple season. And I didn't really get a chance. Last year's maple season was a mess because we had an early thaw in January, February, like we have now. And so I decided to tap early, and very good. Um, if that tubing is not here, if I can't find it, and it's not with my maple stuff, then I'm going to do a rush order tomorrow and get some more here. 500 foot roll is cheap uh, and the provider I'm going with so I'll probably get a, a rush order on it and get it here quick so we can start getting this stuff going 
And Chris is ready to roll. This is going to be exciting. We'll all be working on uh, making products from our property. Melanie made brownies today, which turned out very nice. Thank you, Melanie. And Melanie made adobo. I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> adobo. Adobo, which is a chicken dish from the Philippines, and it's very nice. Thank you, Melanie. She's a good cook. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I've got experiments to go uh, to work on the machine here. I'm going to try to get you uh, two videos this day, as on this day that you see this video. And uh, we'll try to catch up on what's going on with the machine. You might hear it in the background behind you. So that's a little bit of a hint what's going on in the background. Anyway, we will talk to you later. I'm going to process this. And that's about it. Troy from the Off Grid Project. And the <laughs> Yourself World. And Melanie from... <laughs> off Grid Homesteading with Melanie. One day she'll remember it. And we'll see you guys later. Just when you think it was over, the baby's in the box. <laughs> Baby, that's so small. Hey everybody, this is Troy and... Melanie. From the do-it-yourself world and... The Off-Grid Project. Please subscribe and follow our daily videos as we strive to become self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching.